Shinner64 here today, and it's been a little while, but we got a new toy action figure unboxing review to do today, and uh, this is a new one. So, there hasn't been much stuff done on it in a long time. I mean, there used to be a cartoon in the 90s, there was a game series in the 90s on the Genesis, Super Nintendo, even there was a third one on the N64, and Pablo's listening in now. But uh, we're talking about our form gym. So... Premium DNA Toys, who did the Banjo-Kazooie figure that I did last year, and some Battletoad ones. They did a lot of different series now. A lot of game series. There's a lot of game series I want to see them tackle, too, because I think they do a good job. But this is the from Gen 1. This is the box. Groovy, huh? But the figure itself, this is a nice packaging, nice extravagant. Pavel's all excited about this. But looks cool. All the accessories that come with listed on the back there. A lot of good stuff. So we're gonna pop this bad boy open and we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. Before we start digging in this whole review of this figure, I have to say, I love the design of this figure and I love the layout and the way, it, flexibility of everything. I mean, this is an amazing figure. I mean, very bendable. Elbows, hands, moves quite easily. Legs, quite poseable. I mean, you can get this figure in a lot of different ways that you want. Head easily moves around, nice head sculpt, the way it looks at the eyes. A little backpack design back there. Cause you know, really this is just a worm in a basically a human's body, but it goes back quite a way. But this is awesome. He comes with the closed fist as his hands, but you do get other hands. So of course you get the little grip hands. So you can hold his little pistol thing. He has his little like laser shooter. So I may use one of them to hold it for his like figure pose wise, but that's like his little shooter that he has in the game, his little laser shooter. And then so you got the two sets of hands. Then you get two alternate heads, which there you got like a little more goofy, smiling, happy one. And here you have a little more like serious, like cynical one, which honestly, I'm digging that one. I think I may end up putting that one on when he's on display. Very cool head figure. It's cool. And then you have the snot pieces. So you have the lazy one which I guess these are more just kind of like, if you want to change out like the backpack piece, I'm assuming. Yes, the backpack piece does come off on the back here. So if you want to pop that off, which it's on there a little tight, I'm assuming those can just basically replace what's on there. So, or maybe that doesn't come off. Hmm, I might be wrong. Maybe that does stay on there, but I almost broke it off live on my feet here, but that's okay. But. Yeah, so I'll have to figure that one out, because I'm not sure if they would hook on the back. It almost looks like they should. I see, okay. Top of the backpack pops off. So if you want to put, like, the lazy snot piece in there. I'm assuming he would go in like that. There we go. So if you want to have almost like a sidekick buddy or whatever, he would kind of go in the back like that. Or if you want to put one of your ones in there. Hmm, I don't think he would really go in there. But then you have the big tall one here, which that looks kind of awkward. I don't know. I don't know if I like that in the shelf. Honestly, I might just leave the actual backpack on him on display because I think that's going to be the best look overall. It looks kind of awkward. I don't know. If, if I'm going to do any, I'll probably do a smaller one, the first one I showed. But the backpack does look the best. But yeah, I was there yanking it. Don't yank that off. That's not supposed to come off. That's why I was having so much trouble. So they did a good job keeping it on there. So make sure you don't pull that off. But that is all the accessories i'll be honest it's kind of a little disappointing for accessories what you get with it but i am very happy with this figure and i think he will look very well with the battle toad sets and the banjo kazooie that's on my shelf because premium dna toys have been doing very well with these and i hope they can dig in the other maybe some other franchises that are long i don't want to say long forgotten but like maybe that aren't really in the present like news so to say so like my gosh, if they could do, like, Rocket Knight Adventure ones, that'd be awesome if the dog... Oh my goodness, I just thought about that. You could do Join a Dark, Perfect Dark. I mean, I know they've done Banjo and they've done Battletoads, which is all rare franchises already. So, I mean, that'd be a really cool one to do. And you could even, like, go back and do some really neat ones. Like, you could dig way back in the day and think of some obscure characters. Like, think of Clay Fighter. You could do Bad Mr. Frosty, the main character. Like... I think that's his name. It's been a while since I played Clay Fighter. But that would be really cool to get the snowman. Oh my goodness. 
I'm wishful thinking here. I don't think any of us may never happen, but like I said before, never say never. Anything can happen anymore, honestly. So I'm digging this figure. And if you're looking to purchase this, you can just go to Premium DNA Toys' website, which pretty easy to find. They have them on there for sale, which there's other ones in the line too. I just wanted the main gym for now. I wanted to see how much I was going to like this. Because I'll be honest, I never really played the games when I was a kid. I was something I played them later in life. So I never really like had an emotional involvement with her from Jim. So it's kind of, I thought it was cool, but at the same time, I didn't know how much I wanted to dig into this whole entire like figure set or like how much I really wanted to sink my teeth into it, so to say. So if you're interested in this, if you like her from Jim, if you love retro toys, retro game series, retro anything, I mean, I would say pick this guy up. I mean, I believe he's like 59.99, maybe 49. I can't remember the exact price, but I don't know if I'd go the, the whole like way into the set deep in there is like I said a couple other figures in the set and honestly it doesn't even show them on the oh yeah it does show them on the box here so on the side of the box you have the air figures in the wave so you got the gym down there you got the scientist professor monkey for a head which he has a monkey for a head and you got psycho and you got Bob the Killer Goldfish and number four, which that's a really odd looking one. You get the goldfish and you got the cat. That one's pretty cool. I don't know if I would pay like full price for all these. I mean, I'm not digging them that much, but I still dig it. I mean, it's cool. So that's our firm gem. But if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. If you enjoy content like this, if you want to see what's all around me here in my game room, I got plushes back there. I got NECA TMNT figures. I got PS5 stuff. I got arcade machines like i got everything i got arcade one up vi videos too check out my playlist down below i got action figure playlist video game playlist and other miscellaneous things or if you like to see pablo my dog in the beginning he has tons of shorts loves to do videos with me i don't post as much as i used to i might get back on that because it's been a little while i'll be honest i haven't done many videos this year maybe like once a month if even so i apologize to that for people who do enjoy watching my videos like the whole five of you out there i'm only playing but yeah check all that out and subscribe to the channel like i said if you enjoy stuff like that subscribe i mean i have tons of other videos in the past i think i've near 100 or done over 100 now so i do it because i enjoy it and because it's fun and or from jim said so so until next time we're gonna say goodbye <laughs>